I'm Jared Collette, and this is KCTV English News. Jeju Province Emergency Support Funding has surpassed 22 billion won. According to the Jeju Provincial Government, as of the 29th, emergency support funding provided amounts to 22.24 billion won for 66,000 households. On the 29th alone, more than 12,000 households were paid 3.96 billion won. Applications for Jeju Emergency Support Funding are available until the 22nd of this month under the five-day application system. Jeju Island said that if a household owner is restricted from financial transactions or has seized accounts due to bad credit, they can open a limited account to receive support. The Jeju Provincial Government has so far tested over 1,000 travelers since starting the airport's walk-through screening clinic on March 30th. The screening centers identified two positive patients. During the holiday season, Jeju Island set up and operated a sample collection booth at the airport's walk-through screening center for prompt inspections in a short period of time. The motion to designate a pilot zone for Daejeong offshore wind power generation, originally passed by the Standing Committee, was eventually rejected. The Jeju Provincial Council held a plenary session on the afternoon of the 29th to pass various ordinances and agreements. The motion to designate a pilot zone for Daejeong offshore wind power generation was rejected through a vote involving 42 lawmakers. 16 were in favor, 20 against, with 6 abstentions. Yang byung a member of the Provincial Assembly, expressed his opposition, saying that if the motion was passed, it would bring about conflicts among residents similar to the Gangjong Naval Base motion in the past. The biggest spring allergy trigger is pollen. Cedar trees had been releasing pollen until early April in Jeju. Now, pine trees are discharging their tiny grains into the air. Pollen can affect the sinuses and respiratory tract, so people are advised to be careful to minimize exposure. Mike Balfour reports. Greenish-yellow dust is blown and spread around by the wind. Cars are covered with yellow particles. That's the biggest spring allergy trigger, pollen, which is the reproductive particle produced by male plants. The pollen of cedar trees is the biggest trigger of springtime allergies. When the tiny pollen grains get into the nose of someone who's allergic, the body's defenses go haywire. The pollination season of cedar trees ends early April. Following the cedar trees, pine trees pollinate between mid-April and June. Weather conditions affect pollen levels. Because pollen is small and light, it can be easily spread by wind when it's dry. According to the Korea Meteorological Administration, the pine tree pollen level in Jeju was high, or very high, as of April 30th. The number of patients who see a doctor for symptoms of pollen allergies, stuffy nose, rhinitis, or asthma, is growing. The number peaks when the cedar and pine trees pollinate. Pine tree pollen had been known to be harmless but allergens are recently becoming heavier in pine tree pollen grains. As the weather is becoming warm, outdoor activities are expected to expand. Experts advise to stay indoors when the pollen level is high and wear sunglasses and a face mask in the open air. Mike Balfour, KCTV. We're glad you were able to join us again today at KCTV English News. Please follow us on YouTube at KCTV E News Jeju and on KCTV's VOD service. I'm Jared Collette. Take care.